Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on this plot. Now what is this plot? This plot is actually the distribution plot. So my last video was about hist plot. What is the difference between hist plot and this plot? Uh, actually this plot is the updated version or advanced version of hist plot. In this plot, you can access to the facet grid option of Seaborn, which is really helpful. And also the all the basic ones like hist plot, density plot, and rock plot. Another thing is ECDF, estimator of cumulative uh, distribution function. So all these are really useful. But hist plot, density plot, histogram, density plot, and cumulative density uh, distribution function we had in hist plot as well. But the syntax could be a little bit different. So let's dive in. Oh, sorry. Import Seaborn as SS. Import mat.d.py plot as plt. So I'm going to use the tips dataset, sns.node and dataset tips. So here is the dataset. We have total bill, tip, and then sex, male or female, smoke or yes or no, day, day of the week, time, dinner and lunch time, and size of the crowd. Okay, so let's do the most simple one first. Tips. Tips is the name of the data set. This is the tips. This is the tips. Okay, and we put x equals to total bill and here is the most basic distribution the histogram okay so after the basic let's see if we can add uh, kde true so it's going to give you the density plot on top of the histogram if you want you can add rag true as well so it gives you the rag plot this, this is the rag plot. Why it's called rag plot? You can see it looks like the rag, right? So here the density of the data is high, so you can see uh, the uh, density of the fiber of the rag is also high, and here is the density is low because the density of the data is also low. All right, now we can also do only density plot. Okay. If you do kind KDE, it's gonna, oh, sorry, you have to put in code. Yes, kind KDE, it gives you the only density plot. Okay. And if you use kind ECDF, ECDF estimator of cumulative density function, you can see we have the cumulative plot. We have the cumulative, cumulative plot in his plot as well, but the um, syntax was a little bit different. Look at it. It's always going to go up because each point is the cumulative of the previous ones. We can also get a heat map kind of plot when we put X and Y direction data. Look here, X and Y direction. You can see we have a heat map, a heat map kind of plot. And here you see the color is dark in this region. That means the density of data is high here. And you can see that it's actually high in this region. And in the outside, when the total wheel and tape is both are really high, the density of data is really low. And you can see the color is also dark and there is no color in a lot of places. Okay. And if you want, you can use find KDE. If you do that, you get a density plot like that. All right, a hue parameter, hue day. Okay, look at it. Here we have day, day of the week. So I'm going to use hue day. And you can see we have the distribution of different color for different days and it is really really hard to understand which is what right what if i add multiple stack 
Yeah, now it is a little bit more understandable, right? If you see, this is Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday, but it is hard to understand the shape of this Friday and Saturday, right? Something is hiding behind these words. Okay. In this kind of case, you know, what I like is kind KDE. If you add kind KDE, what happens? It looks like this. So now you can see the shape, right? Now, if I don't use the multiple stack, it's even clearer. I like this one best, right? It depends on the data, actually. It depends on the data. So based on your data and based on the uh, histogram you see, you have to choose what kind of, uh, if, if you like a density plot or a histogram, which one is more understandable. Okay, there is another thing uh, we could could have done. Uh, I think if you have seen my uh, his plot video, you know this option multiplot multiple dodge. If you use dodge, so you have separate bars for uh, each individual day, right? Each individual day has individual bar, but they are actually a little bit too close. So what we do means five. And let's see after being swipe what happens. Okay, it's a little more understandable. And if I do a little bit shrink, 0 0.7 uh, or 0 0.8 maybe. In that case, look, uh, we have say here we have in this region four different days and four different bars. And so you see that for each point we have four different bars. It could be helpful if you like it if you okay my next part is going to be the facet grid option what i talked about in the beginning okay so we started here right all of the histograms all of the histograms on top of each other for each day now in instead of this Instead of this, or instead of this, what if I want to get in separate histograms totally? Look, so we have individual column, right, for each day, but everything is too small. So let's change the size a little bit, height four, and where did it go? The aspect 0 0.6. So, yeah, it's much more clear. Okay, nicer. You can see we have each. So, this is the facet grid option. If you put individual column, so each day has its own column. So, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And now, what if I want individual day and individual time okay look the then i would add row time oh i need a comma here it is okay so you can see this first row is all uh lunch time time lunch time lunch thursdays fridays saturday sunday and again here thursday friday Saturday, Sunday, and it's all time dinner time. And it gives you much more clear picture, okay? For Saturday, Sunday, we don't have any data for lunch time. It's all dinner time. And for Thursday, it's all lunch time. We have a, a very few data, maybe, for uh, dinner time. Uh, Friday, Saturday, uh, lunch and dinner time, both, we have very little data. So you can see that we have much more interesting and clear picture when we just segregate the data and segregate the distribution. All right. So I think it was helpful. I tried to cover pretty much most of the stuff I, uh, I, I can think of in this plot. So I hope you use this uh, in your everyday life and uh, in your projects. And if this video was helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will see you soon. Thank you so much.